Now, here's the rare footage where he's fighting a reporter, right? And grappling with the reporter, right? G15 of Professor Kuichi Tone in a free for all with the news reporter. Yuzuki, or individual in this case, challenging Professor Tone, has no martial arts background. Professor Tohei at this time was 8th down in Aikido and 5th down in Judo. But he's still throwing in the middle. <laughs> if the person does not want to be thrown and is resisting, there are no beautiful flying techniques as you normally see in Aikido. The result normally will be a grappling situation. But he's still winning. He's still winning. <laughs> the Japanese guy, right. And he did... Flipping the least right on the ground, right? Is but it is a little difficult, and that's still part of a backwards throw, right? Right. What happens next is Professor Tohei brings the person down, right, and applies a judo choke. Now watch the person's left arm go in. Right, right. Is choked into unconsciousness. So it can't this work, right? You just kind of like, <laughs> be patient. <laughs> right. Sometimes. Now, mm -hmm. it's going to be sloppy on the streets now. That's what I mean, right? Part of the UK <laughs> the fall. But he still had to use judo and not aikido to actually do something to the guy. Right. Does Aiki Ken See, or it's a sweet idea what Morihei Ushiba has there, right? But it's not that in training you can't do it with someone you know, right? It's on the streets, like with a news reporter, you might run into some difficulties in actually doing that pretty style of a throw, right? Now, what they do is they go with the throw, right, or the throw, right? They're going with the flat, right? That's always better in the martial arts, right? Now, if you learn how to break throws, right, I mean... You know, roll with it, as they say, right? Roll with it, baby. Like the song, right? The song. Well, roll with it, roll with it. <laughs> but he still got him on his back three times, and then he had to choke him out, right? So, and still, still, it showed he knew what he was doing, but couldn't quite grapple with him the right way, right? And he had no martial arts training either, right? Now, some you might say was a tie, I guess, right? He couldn't always throw him, but when he did get him down, which was three times, and then he finally did the choke, right? <laughs> um, he wasn't doing hardly any damage to the other guy either. <laughs> the three black belt, right? So you got to be careful, like I said, when fighting someone, and let's go back over it again. <laughs> um, so he's mainly trying to grab, right, the sensei here. I right? see that's where he's throwing the food a few times, right? And this is just part of my teaching series, right? See, it's still educational. Copy, right, fair use, right? And that's what Bernie's using it for, which, see, that gives him credit for posting this part of the video. And now I'm critiquing it more in depth, right, than even Bernie did, right? This next section is some rare footage shot. Now, see, there he's kind of holding his own, right? Right, right. Professor Kuchi Tone. Mm-hmm. Then he throws it. Then he throws it, right. 
he ever extends himself, right? Mm -hmm. And he seems to be getting there, but then he throws it again. Then he throws it again, right? Then he throws it again. Then he throws it again, right? And then he fell again. Then he fell again. So he fell four times, actually. Right? I thought it was three, right? There's he's down now, though, right? Right. Fifth time, fifth time. <laughs> I don't know. Mm -hmm. But see, that's because he's trying to trick you. He knows part of what Akita is about is to grab the wrist of the hand. So, but still, he gets thrown back. Right. Still, still. <laughs> right. See, he knows what it's about a little bit by observation. Right. And brought him down. But see, then he went to judo, which again, Aikidoists are either supposed to be pure Aikidoists and not use judo. <laughs> That's a problem to do, though, right? <laughs> but okay, okay, <laughs> All right? The person's left arm go away. The person is choked into unconsciousness. Now, you can also revive a master choking, which Wally J shows you how to do that, even in this book and all those videos, right? He's got small circle jujitsu as a book, and also he has um, five DVDs, right? Dealing with everything from how to throw someone to all the throwing techniques, too, right? Well, see. If I'm explaining something to you that's legal teacher teaching his students, even if you don't want to learn from me, right? Right. Or you don't think I'm a black belt. <laughs> whatever, whatever. See, okay, say I wasn't. All right. In this particular um, style, they require... So much training, right? To get your belts, right? Right. Mm -hmm. They usually give you a chart to follow. Mm -hmm. And say 60 hours, right? <clears throat> which if you go three times a week at least an hour and a half that's four and a half hours a week at least right <laughs> times four is 12 hours a month right so in about three to four months you're at how many hours 12 times Three is 36. So if you need 60, right? That's. I am not going to. This is here. You would have to go out at least five months, say, right? Right? <laughs> there you go. I know. So about five months of training, if you do it for how long? An hour and a half, right? Sometimes it's at the back, sometimes it's at the beginning, right? Just kind of thumb through it. Mm. 
There it is. Mm. So they all say, like I said, about 60 hours, right? Until you get to the upper bells, which could be about a year, right? <laughs> right, right. About five months at least per belt, right? <laughs> but let's say you're at home all the time, like me, <laughs> and watch the whole bunch of like Aikido videos, right? How long would it take you? Maybe three months, two months, right? It's not about speed, though, either, either. Mm -hmm. But whatever, right? You know, right. <laughs> okay. <laughs>